how do you know when you're in a situation that might be toxic or you have a friend and you're like, this doesn't really feel like it's giving me peace. This friendship is like making me feel anxious. I don't really know why. Like, what are some things you think that can be identified that you're like, maybe you need to remove yourself from that situation or that relationship? I have one. Yeah. Um, okay. This could be literally a friend, a coworker, just a stranger at a party, like whatever, an acquaintance. It could be anyone, but if you have like a, doesn't even necessarily have to be a friendship. It could be just an acquaintanceship. Is that a word? I don't know. An apprenticeship. An apprenticeship. (laughs) If you have an apprenticeship with someone and you find that like, they are only talking about themselves. Like they didn't ask you like, how was your day? How was your weekend? What's up with you? What's new with you? Like they're only talking about themselves. Like, odds are they're probably a narcissist but like they're so self-absorbed that they don't even they're not even aware that they're doing it that's so true like there's like a different and i'm not kidding i get so nervous about that myself like i get paranoid because i feel like there's two modes of me either i'm like really quiet because like sometimes i get social anxiety like either i'm like too quiet and people probably think i'm a bitch because i'm like not speaking or whatever or like I feel comfortable and I'm talking and I get nervous that I'm talking too much about myself or like just talking too much in general. And so like, I don't know, that's another story. Like that's a fine line, but like I've definitely come across people where I'm like sick, like, yeah, you know, what's funny about me. You just said that and I started laughing because I actually think that you're very, when you were just talking about how like when you do talk, you get nervous about being the type of person that only talks about themselves. Yeah. It's funny though, because of the fact that you are nervous about that, that's how you know that that's not how you are. Like, okay, Uh, I was talking to someone a few months ago and I was like, I'm just like nervous. I'm just like a bad person. And they were like, no, bad Bad people people, don't wonder that. Yeah, bad people don't, or maybe I saw it on TikTok. I don't even know what's real anymore, but it's like bad people don't worry about being bad, about being bad. They, because that's true. That they just are. It's like a genuine fear of mine though, because I've come across so many people like that, that like, I just never want to be like them. And like, I asked a friend recently, I was like, do I talk about myself too much? I don't think you do. I think oh, you do. Good. I think you're a healthy medium, but I also think that there are times in life, like you might be going through like a season where you just have so much going on and we're going to talk about and like focus on you. That's true. And then there's times when like, I have a lot of shit going on and we're going to talk about me a little bit. That's true. But I think as long as you're aware, I think if you're aware of it, that's huge. And it's, this is an interesting one because I think a lot of times in your life, especially growing up, right? Like children are very selfish. Yep. Not in like a negative way, but- it's just how they are. You are looking to, you know, you want like food, company, friendship, love. Like you grow up being very selfish. You're supposed to reach a point in your life where you start to be more selfless. Mm-hmm. Yeah and care about other people. They start sharing and like thinking like, oh, like maybe I should share my toy. Like it happens with time. Yeah, and like as you reach adulthood, like theoretically you should reach a point where like you wake up in the morning and you're thinking of other people and doing things for others. Like that should come naturally and it comes more naturally to some than just to others. Um, And I think it's okay if like you go through stages of your life where you're talking about yourself because you're going through something, but something I feel like in my like early 20s, I didn't pay attention to, and now I do, is what you just said, which is people that never ask you about how you're doing. It's mm-hmm. like, I have friends who like, I was friends with for years. I didn't see anything wrong with it because sometimes it's like kind of fun just like knowing what's going on in someone's life. And honestly, I don't know if you ever get like this, but there's times like, I don't really wanna talk about my life because I'm not really yeah. comfortable. Like, I don't wanna fully dive into it. So I kind of like talking to someone about like what they have going on in their life and yeah. stuff. But like. One time I had a friend and she came over and we were talking for a while and my other friend was there. We were, I don't know, I'm trying to not give too many details, but (laughs) (laughs) um, we were basically, we were like on vacation somewhere and there was three of us and these two friends weren't really close with each other, but I knew, I knew both of them. And the one of them, let's call her um, Angelina. I love her. Great friend, whatever. Like, genuinely like sweetheart but by the end of that trip my other friend let's call her margaret was like shannon i couldn't help but notice the entire time all angelina did was talk about herself like you guys were talking having a conversation she never once asked you how's your relationship how are you doing like are you happy it was always about her what she has going on and she was like for two days she never asked you a single question and it was weird because that's rough. This I was, I think I was like maybe 23 or 24. Did you notice it? No, that's the weird part. 
Never. I left that trip and I was like, that was so much fun. We have the best time together, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And it wasn't until my friend said that to me that the first time in my life that I realized that someone asking you about your life is actually very, very important because what is on your heart will come out of your mouth. <laughs> and it, like, I never really thought about it before. I but like that. Her not asking me, maybe like when you're in a small talk conversation, that's one thing, but her spending two days with me and not asking me anything about myself, she really probably didn't care. Honestly, like, if it was on her heart to like care about me and how my life is going, she probably would have asked me like, I don't know, maybe one or two questions. But the fact that she was perfectly fine living her, like talking about just herself, what she has going on, exciting updates and stuff in her heart of hearts, she probably, that was really what she cared about. If she really cared about what was going on in my life, she would have asked. I think it was weird. while you were saying that, I was thinking back to a time in my life when like I gen genuine, genuinely, hello, genuinely <laughs> whatever, I can't, whatever. I, I honestly didn't care a lot about much, about anything, about anyone. Yeah. Barely even myself. And I would have this toxic mindset of like, like if you were telling me this, like, back then I'd be like, whatever, like you didn't ask someone like whatever, like odds are I didn't ask because I generally don't care how their weekend was. I generally don't care how they are. Like it's like whatever. Right. Like, and then I realized one day I was like, no, Abby, like you have to care. Like, yeah, that's a good point. Even if it's, even if it's surface level, pretend like you don't have to like, and I'm talking like, like maybe with like acquaintances or coworkers, it's just like, be a decent human being, being like a nice person doesn't cost anything. Like That's a good point. it's not going to ruin your day by asking someone like how their day is. Like you're not better than them. Like it's, I don't know. I don't know if anyone else has gone through that, but like, I just remember like in a low part of my life where I'm like, I just, I didn't care. I was yeah. like, whatever. That's a, that's a really good point. And I think what you just said on is important because we go through stages in our life. Yeah. I think I've gone through some stages in my life where I did make a lot of things about me and yeah. The interesting thing is like, ultimately, if I'm not asking my friend how she's doing, how her life is going, because maybe I'm like, well, no, no, no. I, I just like, I, I want to talk about myself or I want to talk about what I'm going through. Usually it had more to do what was going on. Exactly. There was some inside. shit going on in my life, like some shit inside that was not right with me. Odds are. That I didn't care about that person enough. Odds are. You, you you may care about that person, but you might not want to hear what's going on in their life because you don't want to compare your life to theirs and like, n like realize yeah. that like, Oh, I actually am not happy with my situation. I'm not happy with my life. I'm not happy with my decision. So like, sometimes I feel like it comes from a place of like yeah. self-hatred. Right. That's a really good point. I completely agree with that. But regardless of like what the reason is, I think if, I think if you're with someone or you're friends with someone, like you said, whether or not it bothers you, start to pay attention to it. I guess that that's what I'll implore people listening to this podcast to do. Cause it's a very, very interesting thing. I'm not talking about like a relationship where like you go through different stages where one person has stuff going on. Other person does. I guarantee you there are people in your life right now who start to just like pay attention to the conversations and see if they ever ask about how your week was, how you're doing. And you're going to start to notice trends and you're gonna be like, wait a second, that that bitch has not asked me how I'm doing in two years. <laughs> like, yeah. it's a weird thought, but it does Are happen. You, and I think the more that you realize that, you'll start to notice other trends about them, which is like, you know, maybe they're a little selfish. And the fact that they don't ask about me, oh wait, they, now that I think about it, they never, you know, wish me a happy birthday, which that's not the most important thing, but like, oh, they don't really show up for me when I need them the most. Like usually these trends will kind of go hand in hand yeah. because what people speak usually comes from with our heart. And their heart will dictate like how they how they live and how they ultimately treat you. Question: You said this trip was a while ago. Are you still friends with this person? Yeah. And has she changed? No. Really? <laughs> no. I think and, and, and that's a me problem, right? I think it's an awkward thing to bring up to someone like, "Hey, like you've actually never asked me." I will say maybe she's gotten a little better with with age. And there's definitely things that I mean, I'm not perfect. Like I can't it's tough for me to like, you know, compare to say something right. to someone when like, I'm not a perfect friend by any means. It's just more so something I've noticed over time. And I think there's some friendships I've had in my life where her and I are still friends. Are we best friends? Maybe like we used to be, maybe not. 
because I think you kind of see relationships for what they are. And there's certain people that you know that you can count on and that are invested in your life. And there's some that you're like, I love this person. We have a lot of fun together. I'll always love you. But like, are you someone that's like such a close individual in my life? Maybe not anymore. And I'm not saying that's the reason, but I do think that like what I was just saying about like where there's smoke, there's usually fire. Like there was definitely like more to it where I'm like, okay. ah, like this person isn't as invested as, as I am. Hmm. I don't know. It's interesting. You're like trying to figure out. Who I am. <laughs> I'm like, is it me? No. Am I the drama? No, I don't think that about. No, yeah. I'm. I, no, that's I how just, paranoid I, have, I am. Wait, really? There was a part of you that thought it maybe was you. I don't know. What wow. year did you say this trip was? I'm like, I literally was like, what year did you say? When did we meet? <laughs> okay, I think that's a big one. So people that talk about themselves, I think this goes hand in hand with that one. It has to do with people who talk about themselves, but it's people who are constantly bragging about themselves. Ooh. What do you think about that's, that? Okay, first of all, if it's a guy, that's such a turn off. But like, even like just the humble gives, brag, like just have to yeah. throw it in there. Yes, even even if it's not a guy, like it's just like it gives me the ick. Even if it's a girl, it just gives me the ick. Like I'm like, ew. Like, what? I don't know. I I know a lot of people that do that. Unfortunately, people like to talk about themselves, but like there are people in my life where it's like they can't help but to throw in a weird little braggy. It's, it's almost like I, I hate the humble brag. I'd almost rather someone come, on, someone come right out and be like, you know what? I think I looked hot this weekend rather than like, yeah, it was just like so crazy because this weekend I was out and it was just like, like, you know, all these guys were just like saying how I was like the prettiest girl they've ever seen. And it was just like kind of wild. Like, I'm just like, what are we doing, Brittany? What are we doing? <laughs> like <laughs> Another B word. I, that's true. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I you're so funny I know thank you the bragging I, does piss me off yeah it's it's an ick and especially if they're bragging about money oh or how like how much money they make or how much money their parents have that pisses me off to no one I'm like honey you're not bragging. rich your parents are rich <sighs> like that pisses me off to no end it's toxic and it's like this isn't a competition like yeah, that's a good point. It's I a think weird flex. Bragging. Unless bragging you're bringing about, me on a yacht. Like, yeah, that's I don't a good care. Point. It's like, if you're going to brag how much money you have, then like. Put your money where your mouth is. Put your money where you're worth is. Take me on a private jet. Pick up the bill. I think that um, I read somewhere once that people who constantly are like bragging about themselves usually come from a place of like insecurity. Because they're yep. needing to validate themselves because maybe they're not getting that validation from other people. I think, again, a lot of these things we're talking about don't necessarily mean like, oh, this person is bad. Like I think, I think sometimes in life we like to villainize. We're like, this person's good, this person's bad. I think everyone's bad. I think everyone has their own shit they're working through. And a lot of these things usually come from a place of insecurity. However, I think that if you're like best friends with someone like this or someone like this is in your life and it's starting to affect you and like your peace, I think it's okay to set some boundaries and like create some distance because it's really tough for people like this to change. Um, have you, I think bragging in general, but bragging about money is difficult. Have you ever like had a friend that just constantly was like bragging, talking about themselves, like talking about how much money they make? Um, no, not a friend, but people I know. Yeah. So you've never like gotten close. No, to no, like that. no. Yeah. Cause the difference is that like, I will say the toxic part of me, like if I, if I don't, want to entertain the conversation, I won't. Like yeah. I will shut that down. If I find, if I like pick up on someone bragging or whatever, like I'm not gonna give them the response that they want. Like I'm not gonna be like, oh my God, that's so cool. Tell me more. Like that's I'll be like, point. cool. And like, keep it moving. Like, so I feel like the people that brag about themselves know that I'm not the person to do it to and they stop. <laughs> you <laughs> and I'm also just like joking about this the other day. Where are we when? No, no, not Which about this specific oh. subject. When we were talking about like, instead of saying like, oh, I'm going to take my boat out. It's like, I'm going to take my Shut up. Me out or my yacht out or something. Hinkley. But then I was like, it's like the type of person that says, not that you're like this at all. Yeah. It was more like a joke. Yeah. Um, But I was like, it's the type of person that says like, oh, I'm going to go like drive like my Porsche instead of being like, I'm going to go my drive car. my car. Yeah. Like, oh, I have to go pick up the Porsche from the shop instead of like, I'm going to go pick up the car from the shop. Yeah. It's like that. That's weird. Subtle. I think a lot of times, like there's the people that are like blatant about it, but I feel like I've had so many people in my life who do the subtle, humble bragging. And it's like, Yuck. that just irks me. And That's gross. Part of me is like, like, I don't want to be the person that is like shutting it down. Why not? 
And they because just keep I doing understand it. it comes from a place of insecurity. So I'm like, all right, like obviously they have something to prove. I don't want to like deflate them, but I also don't want to like feed into it. So then I just feel awkward. I'm just like, oh, like, <laughs> Like, I don't know what oh, to say. I feel Yeah, awkward. it's uncomfortable. Like, I think when you talk about setting boundaries, like, I find myself needing to set boundaries from people that are like that because it, like, gets in my head. I'm like, I don't know how to respond to you. And I almost feel, like, annoyed that you're bragging about yourself. But I also don't want to cut you down because that's not, like, the loving thing to do. But I also don't want to feed into it. So it's, like, just awkward. And I just find myself being, like, all right, boundaries. I promise if you don't feed into it, you're going to be so much happier. Come to the dark side with me. <laughs> Just it's cut, great. cut people down. I weed it's out like, so many people. It's like the people that like fish for compliments. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Constantly fishing for compliments. And I do think it's okay to do that around your boyfriend. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm why like, haven't like, you complimented honestly, me yet today? Like, like, honestly, like I know I look horrible in this shirt. I'm just like, why well, I'm to be like, no, you look, <laughs> it's so sad. Oh. We all kind of do that. Though. Yeah. And even if we don't just tell me that we do. Absolutely. Of course. Of course. Okay. I like your shirt. So I think that that's like one kind of like grouping. Is You're like, welcome. Oh, you do like my shirt? <laughs> Wait, I didn't even hear you say that. Oh, Peter you. did. I thought you were giving an example like I like your shirt. No. But you do like my shirt. Well, I just said it, but I do mean it. Oh. I so do mean it. it with, now I like don't even know if I can trust you. I'm kidding. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I like your shirt too. <laughs> Ew, stop. Ew. Um, so I think that's like one grouping is like the people who are like bragging, talking about themselves, boasting, etc. The other type of toxic person that I personally, I don't know if you can relate to this, but need to remove myself from is the person that is jealous. Ooh. They are always self-pitying. They can't feel happy for others. They're always gossiping. They're always talking badly. How do you feel about people like that? Like it just constantly, like you're, you, go, you go to sit down and have lunch with them. And it's like, as soon as you sit down, the second you sit next to them, it's like shit talking this person, gossiping about her, her engagement ring was ugly. Her wedding dress sucked. She was, you know, she looks like a bitch. Like their, oh. their boyfriends mean like just instantly like talking badly about others. <laughs> the claps. Cause I'm like, how do I want to address it? I think I would be hypocrite to say that I don't partake in any gossip. Okay. And you However, do, but like, I don't think that you're amounts. a gossip. I wouldn't say that you're a gossip. like a gossiper. No, I don't. I think That's that good. when we sit down to That's hang not out, the first thing I say. No. You don't sit down and go instantly go, did you hear about her? Did you, did you see what happened? Like, yeah. That's not you. I honestly don't think I'd be as close with you as I am if oh. that was you, to be oh my God. honest. Thank you. Okay. Well, that makes me feel good. But like, like I'm saying, like, I think I'd be a hypocrite, but I do think that again, like we've been talking about obviously people that are putting down others are doing it to try to make themselves feel better about True. themselves. And that is an unattractive trait. Yes. That's it's unattractive. I think there's like a fine line between like gossip, like mean gossip and like, I do think being there's in the know. like, yeah, like being in the know and like, oh my God, did you hear so-and-so like made out with so-and-so like whatever. Like, okay. I think there's a so fine there's line. There's I think levels. there's levels. Yeah. Gossip is a hard one. There's levels to it. There's a fine line. Like how much is it consuming your day and your time and your energy? How much, how much are other people consuming your time? Yeah. It's like, I think there's this quote. It's like comparison is the thief of joy. Thief of joy. Yeah. Yes. And I think the second grouping we talked about, I think the first one is all about like your ego, your inflated self of sense of self. That's mm -hmm. the first type of person that's kind of difficult to be around. I think the second one is like the person who everything is about other people. Yeah. Comparison. And I think a lot comes from that jealousy, right? So like yeah. people that are gossiping are usually the same ones that are constantly jealous. They're constantly comparing themselves to others. And then they're constantly like complaining about what they have because they're like, Ugh, like she has an Audi. It's so annoying. Her parents bought it for her. She's never had to work a day in her life, blah, 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 which, okay, fine. Whatever. People have different situations. Life isn't fair. That's okay. But I think that Preach. when that's starting to consume you and you're waking up every single day, thinking about the fact that like this girl has what I want. This girl has what I want. Why is she so skinny? Why is she blonde? Why is she like this? Why is she dating him? Why does she marry into a rich family? Like, if that is consuming you, you're never going to be happy. Mm -hmm. And it's like what we were talking about a few weeks ago, but gratitude, like the 
opposite of gratitude is sitting there like comparing yourselves to other people all day long, which is why I think that social media is so toxic because it's literally the perfect layup for us to just sit there comparing ourselves to all these girls like, you know, we have no idea what's going on in their lives. But I think that like misery loves company. Mm -hmm. I found myself honestly becoming very close with people who I thought it was like super fun to like gossip and just, you know, it seemed innocent. Like, oh, we're just, you know, we're just venting to each other. And like, it's a necessary part of being a human or being a girl. This is what we do. We talk shit, we vent, whatever. But then you find yourself in like hours and hours of just like negative, hateful, conversation it's not productive nothing good is coming of it you're not making each other better and do you ever leave feeling better like you end mm -mm. up leaving feeling like down and like wow Icky. like I have nothing going for me like my life sucks which isn't true so I think I've again found myself having to like distance from people that like cannot help but to gossip and just like be jealous all the time should we change the saying to gossip is the thief of gratitude Ooh, mm. wait, mm. I kind of like, like that. I kind of like that. Hey. 